Well, a rare spring freeze, as we've been telling you, making its way at the moment through Kentuckiana tonight, and it has farmers getting creative to protect their crops. Some are using bed sheets or bonfires. Others, like our own Chris Williams, is out canning tomatoes before they're grown. The night team's Heather Fontaine takes a look at the preparations. Acres of crops getting covered up as fearful farmers prepare for a frosty weekend. An attempt to prevent the frost from really nipping us in the bud tonight. We're looking at historic lows. Kentucky's Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles is showing us around Triple J Farms in Georgetown, where they're using frost covers to protect their strawberries, often sold at the St. Matthews Farmers Market. As with any frost, <laughs> there's only two things you can really do. You can try to mitigate what crops you have resources for, like the strawberry patch covering with, co with covers. Or secondly, just hope and pray that it doesn't get you as, as bad as it can. In Cordon, Indiana, a creative approach. I'd rather try and fail than to not try and fail. Owner of Turtle Run Winery, Jim Pfeiffer, stacked 18 piles of wood throughout his vineyard. He'll light them overnight, hoping the bonfires will keep the vines from being destroyed. I've read about it a lot in Europe. And I've seen it as well in California, so we're going to give it a try. Those at Triple J Farms picking what they can now. They're getting ready for their, their market tomorrow, uh, come freeze or no freeze. Hoping a rare May frost like this. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it can be quite devastating. Won't take it all away. Please cross your fingers tonight. Say a little prayer for Kentucky farmers. Heather Fontaine, WHIS 11 News.